Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you just a couple simple ways that you can make macOS 10 more like iOS. So when macOS 10 Lion brought a lot of iOS style features over to the desktop interface. And while not everybody like these features, there are some people that really do like them and enjoy them, as do I myself. So the first thing we're going to talk about is actually a lock screen for your Mac. And this can be found by going to the Mac App Store actually. So if you select the Apple logo menu and go to App Store, you can actually search for this program in the App Store and it's called Lock Screen. And from here, you should see it here, it's $1.99. And what it does is it brings the lock screen to your Mac. So you can see the shortcut for lock is Command L. So if I select Command L on the keyboard, you can see that it brings me to this lock screen. And right now I just have this plain wallpaper up. You can set this to whatever you want. And you can slide the keys on your keyboard to unlock. So I have it set up so that if I slide from Shift all the way across to Shift, it unlocks my keyboard. And you can configure this by going up to the lock screen menu and selecting preferences. And this will let you set a pass pattern between 3 and 12 characters that you can slide across your keyboard when you want to unlock. So that's kind of neat. And the next thing we're going to talk about is notifications. So with iOS 5 there's that new notification animation, that whole new style of the notification where it just kind of spins down from the top and just kind of rolls back up once the notification is finished. And you can actually achieve this with an application called Growl. And this is available on the Mac App Store, again, for $1.99. But if you go to the download section on the page, you can see some older versions of it, which will also work on the Mac as well, which are free. And you can get Growl at growl.info. And of course, the link to this will be below the video. So a lot of different applications support Growl. And with it, you can display a lot of different types of notifications. So once you install Growl, the next thing you're going to want to do is go to this page on DeviantArt, which of course I will again have the link below the video that you can access that. And you can download this iOS 5 notification setup for Growl. So this not only replicates the look of iOS 5 notifications, but also replicates the animation of them too. So if you go over here and select Download File, it'll download and then you can go up to your downloads button right here and open up this folder and in here all you have to do is open up in this case the white growl style and I can just install this so once growl is running I can go up to the little paw in the menu bar and select open growl preferences and from here I can set up how growl displays and I can go under dis the displays tab and select the default style to be iOS 5 notification white and as you can see down in the corner here, you can get a little preview of exactly how the notification will look. And my last tip is a pretty simple one, uh, but it's still handy. If you go up to the Apple logo menu and select System Preferences, and you go under the Dock tab, you might want to uncheck Show Indicator Lights for Open Applications. So getting rid of your indicator lights actually makes your dock just look a little bit more like the dock on iOS, where you never see any indicator lights of any kind. That's just a thing that you can do to more closely integrate the Mac OS X and iOS experience. So there you go, there's some easy things that you can do to make Mac OS X more like iOS. If you have anything that you'd like to see me do a how-to on, make sure to send me an email. I hope you found this video useful, and thank you for watching.